I don't think that we will have something that replaces it before it sort of becomes maybe obsolete for the younger generation. Maybe the younger generation sort of slowly uh, start Gen Z, I guess, would sort of slowly start to say, okay, we don't need this anymore. But I think still it's sort of this address for people. It's it's kind of the go-to place. Like, yeah, social media, you might have to make a new one if you get hacked or something weird happens, whatever. Your email, you try to keep like at least your very personal email so that all your friends have that one. So, you know, I feel like there is something to that. Even as a kid, I know the younger kids that my nieces and nephews and stuff, they still have their email address. They just don't use it like we do, but it's yep. still an important part of, of their life and what they're doing. Um, so I think it, I think it's going to be, it it can be a way of modeling audiences. So it's like, let's even say you're selling to Gen Z right? and maybe your engagement isn't quite what you would get, uh, in another market. It's like, okay, cool. But still the difference between having a hundred thousand and a million emails is an order of magnitude. And you can take that data and model audiences on meta and on TikTok. And so, I mean, the way I look at it is, you know, growing your database, you really can't go wrong almost no matter what you're doing.